Immunotherapy treatments for cancer are medical therapies which help a person's own immune system attack or fight the cancer they've unfortunately got. All of us have got a variety of immune cells in our body which can detect problems like infections but they can also pick up significant problems like cancer. The problem in the past has always been that although the immune system has been able to detect the cancer, it's always had difficulty destroying established tumours and these are tumours that your doctor or other healthcare professional would have picked up. Immunotherapy treatments stimulate your own immune system to get past these initial blocks, if you like, to attack the cancer cells and that can lead to eradication of advanced tumours and also prevent tumours from coming back. Immunotherapy medications work in two, uh, two sort of distinct ways. The first is they can stimulate uh, your immune system to attack a cancer that it's not seen before. So an example for that would be a, would be a vaccine. Other immunotherapy treatments work by essentially removing or make, removing the sort of molecular camouflage, if you like, that tumors use, use to hide from the immune system. An example of that would be an immune checkpoint inhibitor. Immune checkpoints are sort of breaks, if you like, that stop the immune cells from attacking cancer cells. And when we take the breaks off using a medicine, such as an antibody, that can then stimulate your immune system to attack the cancer cells. Once that process has been started, the immune system works a little bit like a cascade and more and more immune cells get recruited. And essentially the sort of fight is on between the tumour and the immune system. And actually, as a result of these, the effect of sort of stimulating the immune system, tumors, even widely metastatic or spread tumours can be controlled and even cured in some groups of patients. For women who have triple negative breast cancer that's unfortunately spread away from the breast, a new treatment is just becoming available to prescribe. The drug's called the tezolizumab. It's given in combination with chemotherapy. What we've known for a long time is that triple negative breast cancer responds well to chemotherapy, but the benefits are usually short-lived. Triple negative breast cancer does have signs that the immune system can attack it. Atezolizumab, which is an intravenous infusion given every three weeks, blocks one of the breaks on the immune system that prevents women's breast cancer from being attacked by their immune system. By combining atezolizumab with chemotherapy, we see increased response rates, and by that I mean more women have their cancer shrink after treatment. Those women who get the immunotherapy given with the chemotherapy live longer than those women who don't. And we know from previous experience of patients treated with immunotherapy treatments that some patients treated with atezolizumab and, and chemotherapy will go on to have long-term survival in the longer run. In other words, their tumours will be controlled by the immunotherapy and chemotherapy for the foreseeable future. It's the most exciting development in triple negative breast cancer we've ever seen in all the time that we've been developing treatments for this illness. So the best available evidence for the use of immunotherapy in breast cancer is for patients who have advanced triple negative breast cancer. A drug called atezolizumab, along with chemotherapy, is being approved to prescribe for women with breast cancer. It's clearly been shown to have a superior effectiveness over standard treatments and is one of the treatments of the future for women with advanced breast cancer. Other forms of immunotherapy are in development for other types of breast cancer, so it would be a good idea if you're interested to approach your doctor or medical team who's looking after you and they can discuss what options will be available to you in clinical trial. So this is one of the most exciting areas in, in breast cancer medicine at the moment. For women who unfortunately develop recurrent triple negative breast cancer, we know from the research that's been conducted so far and from the clinical trial results that some women, about one to two women in 10 who receive immunotherapy treatment, will go on to have long-term control of their cancers after the treatment. What do I mean by that? Well, we, take, we have somebody who has a breast cancer which is growing on their scans, they receive the immunotherapy treatment, and then afterwards, the cancer goes into remission or disappears. 
We don't know at the moment whether these women have been cured or not, but it's certainly one of the most exciting events or discoveries that we've seen in triple negative breast cancer for a very long time. So I think, although we can't say for certain whether a woman will be cured, it does, these results do, do offer hope to women with triple negative breast cancer that there is the possibility of long-term control of their cancers after immunotherapy treatment.